have no idea if you can hear me as this is a new, this is a setup on the new bike. I haven't vlogged for a while, so hello fellow YouTubers, Black Rider 21 here. And I want my new bike. I've had it ages now, mine, but it'll be new to you guys. It's a GSXR 750 K7 model. And ah, he's going. He woke up. I have Freestyler Liz, a female biker who's in front of me, the girl on L plates. Uh, Honda CBR 125. And in front of them, in front of her, I have Captain Frenchy himself, the French banana, Mike's motorbike. And we're currently off to see Biker Mall in Colchester. So yeah, this is a new vlog. This is my first vlog on the new bike. The GSXR K7 750. Beautiful beast. As you can see. Uh, sorry mate. <laughs> oh. oh well. Yeah, I'm going to be coughing a lot due to I've got a cold at the minute. So I might have to edit them out due to the fact that they're going to be pretty loud. If you can even hear me over the wind noise, I ain't got a clue. Because it's mighty windy. Films at 22 miles. Hey. Thanks to Liz in front, freestyle Liz, I've got a glitch mob, a new, a new Vox or whatever it's called, a new Vox or a new, a new Vox or something around that area. I've got that in my head at the minute and it's currently doing my head in. Mike's motorbike just tried to put call me maybe in my head but that didn't work unfortunately. I'd rather have that than this fucking Anu Vonks glitch mob. Saying that the glitch mobs are good are good songs. That's the reason originally I bought the GoPro. Um, the glitch mob we can make the world stop. Uh, I'll put a link to GoPro's advert. Go and have a look at it, it's fucking mint. That's the only you know what, that's the only reason. I got a GoPro because there I was on holiday and I thought mm, uh, you know what I'd love a fucking GoPro and I just watched it and I'm like oh wait yeah I definitely want that now then I thought oh, the only problem is what the hell do I do with it okay it's okay buying a 200 quid camera but what the hell do I do with it So anyway, I looked on, just happened to be browsing YouTube one night, and I come up with Extreme 601. Uh, I don't know if we're meeting him today, I think Liz was on about we might be, I don't know. But anyway, um, 
I saw him doing a vlog and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. It'd be worthwhile to use a GoPro on. Then I thought, fuck it, I can't be asked. It's too much hassle to get out on the bike just to set up the GoPro and go out and talk to myself. And most of the times I went out, I, well, it wasn't really videoing material if you could catch my drift. So, um, so I did that. Anyway, I bought the GoPro, uh, bought it from Orwell Motorcycles in Ipswich. Uh, rode mad late to go and get it. <coughs> so anyway, I got the GoPro. Rode home, got an SD card. Uh, top class one, class 10, 32 gig. And I got it home and I was like, I can't be asked to do vlogging. So, I didn't bother. Then, all of a sudden, Mike's motorbike. I was just browsing YouTube again one night. And there was Mike's motorbike doing a vlog. And I was like, yeah. This thing sort of catches on there. And then um, I saw Leeds Rider as well, Leeds Rider 93 I believe it is, and I was like, oh, fair enough. So I did the two vlogs that you can see now on a K4 600 GSX-R, and then um, a lot of family problems and other problems and all that, so I stopped. Stopped vlogging and then all of a sudden um, someone started up a uh, bike thing. I'll put a link in the description as well. Anyway, they started up a bike thing, so I signed up to that. I was up, I signed up to Moto Vlog anyway. And all of a sudden, we're on, we're going on a peaks meet. So there I was, get up early in the morning. We went and did cat and fiddle and all that. And oddly enough, I met lead rider, Mike's motorbike, and freestyler Liz there. And since then, we've been mates. And it's been like, well, five months ago, I think my last vlog was. I looked up to Mike's motorbike and lead rider. They, they were celebrities to me. And now, all of a sudden, there I am chatting to them, and we're mates.